want to introduce Dr. Kim Korba of Green Hills Direct Family Care. Dr. Korba has been part of the Lehigh Valley medical community for years and in 2016 opened the first direct primary care office in the region. Welcome, Dr. Korba. It's been a pleasure, um, a, a breath of fresh air dealing with Ballashore. And um, Sarah and I were kicking around, reaching out to you for a while. Uh, I, have a, I have a very small but very busy direct primary care office, and uh, she's full-time, and I have another part-time person. So we, our wheels are running all day and usually into the night sometimes. And um, so although we were delayed in re reaching out, I'm so glad we did because uh, in this current environment in medicine in general, it's really, a like I said, a breath of fresh air to have a company that's so responsive and so organized and um, really all about the patient and getting the patient exactly what they need. Um, and I never thought about buying food and not looking at the label as a, an analogy, but that's a really great analogy. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't buy food if you didn't know what the ingredients are. And here we are taking these things every day, but like we eat our food, some of these medications. Uh, and, and it's pretty scary if you think about it. So I, I thank you, Valashore, for doing what you do and um, for making it available to the doctors and the patients and, and to us as a direct primary care office. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with Chris's comment here. It, it's definitely a mission. It's a mission to do the right thing. So, right. Uh, well, just to give a little background, when um, I decided to change my insurance-based practice to direct primary care, I knew dispensing wholesale medications was going to be a huge value add, and that I needed to do it. And um, you know, doctors in Pennsylvania have been able to dispense for decades. My old family doctor used to give us our little white envelope with our amoxicillin in it when we had a sore throat, and we walked, we left the office. We, you know, charged my mom two dollars or whatever it was um but that went by the wayside obviously because so many practices are now part of large hospital systems and doctors aren't able to make that decision to do that um on their own anymore so as an independent office that's yeah i knew that i would have to do that and i'm very um litigious and i uh being alone in practice for 17 years, uh, you know, have to rely on myself and don't want to, didn't want to make any mistakes in the dispensing process. And I'd never worked in a pharmacy. I don't know what that involved. I, I had no idea. Sarah was a pharmacy tech, thank God. So she sat down, and wrote down some uh, um, steps for me and I started jotting down a policy. And I called the state and the state had no formal policy for doctors to dispense in house. And I'm very anal about that stuff again because I've been in practice by myself. I don't have a, a quality, you know, quality analysis department overlooking what I do. So I uh, decided to write the po a policy. And Pennsylvania Medical Society was wonderful enough to have me to Harrisburg twice. I met with their legal people. They added some regulations, and voila, we had a Pennsylvania dispensing policy. It's pretty airtight. Uh, I don't want to jinx myself, but we've only made one dispensing error in four and a half years in my office. So. Anyway, so we had that in place, and um, it really was a, it really was just a lateral move to add Valishore. So we our bottles are blue normally, and we added a very light green uh, to delineate um, the that's a Valishore bottle of medication versus our blue non-validated generics. Uh, the label's the same because it comes out of our EHR system, and then um, Valishore has you know the extra silver. Um, security tab that goes uh, along with the bottle and we usually email the patient their certificate um I, you know i was going to talk to sarah about printing it out you know sticking it in the bag that they have when they pick up their medications or if we ship it to them but i think people like having it in an email because they can refer to it um we could do both i guess too and we also have uh sarah has designated a certain area in the um in our our, our small room where we have all of our generics uh, on the shelf. And so we have a special area designated alpha, you know, we alphabetize all of our medications. So she has a specific area that's just Valishore um, generics because what we've started to do is the prices are so similar that uh, we're starting to just stock Valishore medications instead of the old uh, non-validated. Even if patients aren't asking for them, because the price is similar, um, they're getting them. And uh, everybody's very appreciative. Uh, everybody's very interested in it. And 
I get, I get constant things like, thanks, Dr. Corbett, we know you're looking out for us, that kind of stuff. So we've hmm. just gone ahead. And even the over-the-counter, we dispense a lot of over-the-counter medications like loratadine, fluticasone, nasal spray, a, a lot of Advil, Tylenol. Uh, we're stocking all of that too. 